Will things get back to normal? It's a question many of you are probably asking yourselves. You might also be wondering if normal in the future looks the same as the past. Investigative reporter Chris Negus spoke with a man who predicts the future for a living. My job is to help expand people's thinking about what the future holds. Thomas Fry's job title, Senior Futurist at the Da Vinci Institute in Colorado, an organization with a mission to understand the future of humanity. But this isn't about making pie-in-the-sky predictions about flying cars. Instead, the organization looks at current technology and trends to help companies predict what's next. Fry says coronavirus will change all of our futures. We're going to be assessing levels of risk with everything that we do. We're entering the post-normal era. He doesn't have a crystal ball, but he says the sudden societal shakeup will lead to lasting change. This is pushing us to do more things virtually. Think about this. We know it will snow in the future, but with kids getting used to e-learning, will school actually get canceled? So I think we're going to see lots of experimenting to see if we can uh, eliminate snow days, but uh, not only that, but we can we can actually do a lot of things online. He also predicts a fundamental shakeup in the labor force and believes many will not return to the jobs they were forced out of. Well, there's a lot of people that don't feel that their, their, their job's giving them the meaning, the purpose that they wanted, and they've always felt like they were kind of trapped in their position, that they didn't want to stick their neck out. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for them to try something else. He thinks self-checkouts will grow, and for those that still go through the checkout lane, the newly installed clear partitions might be permanent. Another unintended consequence, how it impacts faith. Do you think more people will be watching church online? Absolutely. There's a lot of despair, and uh, there, there's a lot of people who are, um, are just feeling very uncertain about things, and... This, I think, will drive a lot of people back to church. When it comes to retail, he sees major changes. Since so many people are shopping online, stores will need to be creative. They're going to have to have a, a much larger entertainment component to it. I mean, does, does Walmart put a trampoline park in the middle of the store so the kids can go there and play and that draws mom and dad to come and do their shopping there? In Chesterfield, we already see it happening. Part of a newly built outlet mall was already being demolished to add more entertainment before anyone knew about coronavirus. Fry believes the post-COVID-19 world means more stores will be mobile as consumers expect things on their doorstep. Think of the meat counter at your grocery store coming to your driveway so you can pick out what you want. From shopping to customs. Will people stop shaking hands? Oh, uh, they're going to be... Uh, hesitant to do that for quite some time now. And even if the future doesn't look as futuristic as Fry's website, he's certain priorities for most everyone will change. The things that were important in the past, um, are just suddenly they just fall off the edge. That's not important anymore. And perhaps that looks different for everybody. Frey also believes a lot of people on unemployment will begin doing side jobs that could turn into permanent jobs. And because people don't want to impact the state and federal benefits they might be receiving, he believes we could see a rise in cryptocurrency, more cash transactions, and even more bartering of services as we move forward. Now, do you have any thoughts on what big changes might be coming in the future? You can let me know on my KMOV Facebook page. Chris Negus, News 4.